we all got some crazy pets. So I figured that I would just take some pictures of the crazy things that they do and all, uh, and then wrestling around, as you can tell here, and all. Uh, and it seems like they have a um, personality all their own. And they're really cool. I like it. I like my all the animals that come around here. And they're always happy to be here. Especially when they get the McDonald's. You know, Rick brings home at the end of the night. And all. Uh, but, uh, you know... We can't survive without them. They are so fun to have around and all. Uh, but um, I'm having trouble with um, two of my videos now, as y'all can tell. Too much noise in the background. Animals, you know. So I'm going to have to figure something out to do because I, I, I don't like all that noise in the background. I don't like to be able to, you know, try to be quiet, be quiet, you know. I don't want that. So I'm thinking about changing my room, my sewing room, to my old bedroom, which my mom has now, and putting it in there and putting her out in my sewing room. So I'll have to put another curtain up for her. And when it gets cold like it is now, I just shut the door on it and we don't have to heat it at all. <laughs> Ain't this funny? He likes that bull. Likes being all loved on with Justin. He's a he loves bullet and bullet loves him. They like to fight. But um, yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna have to change my room around. I can't do nothing until Thursday when Rick's off of work. Now this is Sadie. Sadie has a skin irritation. And uh, she don't have the mange, it's just that she's allergic to fleas, and that's what happens to her. We He takes her to the doctor, she takes the pills, but then after the pills are gone, it goes right back out, you know, so. And that is Bullet's mother. So, I have something to look forward to when Bullet gets older. And he likes to scratch and eat on himself all the time anyway. Man, that cat, this cat loves to lay on anything that belongs to me. If it's my Bible, she likes to sit on it. It's my, on anything. But, hey, she's a character all by herself. And, uh, she eats more than a bullet does. And, uh, and that's a crime shame. I didn't get that quilt and give it to Lynn. I still have it with me. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, on our way back home from Georgia, we seen a sign that said that um, uh, Asheville, 12 miles. I said, well, Mom, I'm going to pull off, take a break, you know, go to the bathroom, and then we'll get back on it, on the road and uh, go on. So we did. And whenever I got back on uh, 40 and all, it was... I seen hickory, the sign hickory, and I'm like, uh, okay, but it was like no time, and we were in, already in Asheville, in other words, we didn't have that 12 miles, that 12 miles disappeared right real quick, oh, my raccoon, yeah, I really did like that raccoon, I really wished I could have petted it, but, oh, well. Uh, it touched me on the finger, and man, it just like freaked me out. <laughs> what can I say? But, um, it sure did like that bag. I was going to record that bag, but then people started coming in, and, uh, and I couldn't record. I didn't have time, because I wanted to hurry up and get to Georgia before it got dark. Guess what? It didn't work. I'm going to have to start waking Mom up earlier and getting her going. And all because it takes her forever, forever to get ready to go. She's just, you know, it's just that time of year for her and all. Everything is just slow for her and all. See, there's all three of the animals laying together. Bullet's black there. You can't see him, but that's okay. 
But these are here are all the crazy places that and that they sleep and you know. all. It's pretty hefty. So um I think I'm running out of things to say. I don't know what to say. I like the way the cat just lays up there. She's really there she is, laying on my thread. I'm working on that Bella. Yep. And this wash day for Bella. That I can't wait to get them done so I can get those quilt uh get that quilt done. But um I think what I wanna do now is I wanna try to start working on my brother's quilt. And he wants a blue quilt. And he drawed a piece of paper for me and unfortunately I don't know what happened to that paper. So I'm gonna have to try to go off of memory on how he wants it. He wants some diamonds in it, so we could do that. And I can't wait to get started on it. It's going to be pretty good quilt. Um, let's see what else. I don't know what else to say. Um, I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> I can't help it because I I have a lot to say, but I can't. I just don't know how to say them anymore. Um, I know one thing. The way this crazy world is, people wanting to be animals, want God living like a goat, and, you know, all that stuff. This world's crazy. I, I think God is looking down on us, and when we plan and He laughs, and the people that love Christ, we have to say, why are y'all doing this? Don't y'all know any better? But of course, they're not going. No, they're not going to. They're not going to show it. The, you know, the truth. None of them's going to be nothing. None of the government's going to tell you the truth. They're always going to feed you lies and everything. But um, I'd rather have the truth. I don't care how hard it is. And if y'all really got to know me, and you know, all, y'all really probably wouldn't like me because. I'm one that I will tell you the truth whether you like it or not and try to tell you well this is the reason why you shouldn't do this or you know this or that you know and all it's like Christmas oh I hate I hate Christmas I hate it it ain't nothing but one great big old propaganda after another I mean, think about this. Who, who's really getting the gifts? Christ ain't getting the gifts. It ain't even got nothing to do with Christ. It, you know, go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 10 will tell you, you know, don't learn the way of the heathens and stuff like that. It, it's crazy. But people want to do it anyway. And my thing is, is it, you know, they say, okay, it's for Jesus. Well, I don't see how it could be for you. What are you going to do when you get up there and, and he says, Well, you celebrated uh, there the December the 25th, which is not even my birthday. You were uh, worshiping the wrong Jesus because now you have a wrong Jesus and you were worshiping him. You weren't worshiping me. <laughs> Go with me. I never knew you. I mean, people don't look at that. And Oh, the kids. Oh, so it's okay for you to say, uh, I don't want them to feel left out. Oh, no, don't let them feel left out from hell. No. Teach your child that hell is pretty good the place to go to. That you're going to have your soul burn up in hell. You know, you can serve the wrong Jesus. And, and serving Christ is an everyday thing. It you cannot turn it on and turn it off and do this or do that. Can't put him up on a shelf. You need to have him with you all the time, especially the full armor of God. The full armor of God you need with you all the time. I mean, we're already gotten these uh you know, the sub subliminal messaging and stuff, how they're trying to control your mind. You don't need that. Nobody needs that. 
we need to be able to uh, stay with him. So he will stay with us. You put him on the shelf and he's, you've got the wrong Jesus. Because Jesus will not be put on a shelf. He lives in a temple, in a temple without, without made with hands. So, and I'm getting to my last one. So I guess I'm going to let my blabbling quit. Y'all have a good day. I love each and every one of you.